Hello, I'm Mac. I'm Sarah. Come with us as we explore... Dining at Disneyland Paris. <laughs> Food at Disneyland Paris often gets a pretty bad rap. On our recent trip there, we were on the half board dining plan, which we've never done before. So we're really excited to share our experience of food at Disneyland Paris with you in this video. We'll cover how the dining plan works, where we ate, and of course, what we had. On the half board dining plan, you get a breakfast at your hotel and a sit down meal at a restaurant of your choice. Of course, you have to make those reservations ahead of time. We are pescatarian, and so that meant that there was an even more limited choice of things that we could have. On the menu for each of the restaurants, the items that are included in the half board dining plan are clearly indicated. So we'll give you a little bit of a guide about what we chose. We'll give each of our choices a rating. The great, the good, and the not so great. So take a seat, unfold your napkin, and let's tuck in. One dining spot in Disneyland Paris we have been really excited to try is Captain Jack's restaurant. It mimics a Caribbean beach and the boats that go on Pirates of the Caribbean ride go past the restaurant and we've seen it so many times when we've ridden the ride but we have never dined there. We're going to give it a try today and very excited. For starters, I have gone for the island style fish soup, which smells really good and on a nice cold day, I think this will be good and warming. And they also bring us bread. Um, he said, would you like this one or that one or both? So of course we said both. Why would you not say both? Why would you not say both? I'm not sure how I feel about fish soup. How is it? It's nice actually. It is a sort of a fishy hint, not like full on fish. It's a really nice hearty soup actually. It's delicious, very good. I have gone for a quinoa salad with a spicy cashew nut vinaigrette. I am so hungry. I'm just going to dive right in. longest that anyone has ever not spoken. <laughs> ever. It's really good. Well we've been treated to a slight technical intermission on the ride. The lights have come on. There was an announcement to say that it had been a technical difficulty. So the water stopped flowing and the lights have come on so we can see much much more now. Now for my main course I have gone for a vegetable curry and I've had a little smell already. And you can smell the coconutty flavor of it. And it comes with a little thing of rice as well. So let's tuck into this. That's really nice. It's very hot as well, which is good. It's got some interesting texture to it actually. A really nice sort of delicate coconut curry flavor. Really tasty, very nice. Whenever we come out for meals, we always have to make a concerted effort to order something different from each other because we always want to pick the same thing. So I've gone for the Mahi Mahi steak. The fish is really nice. It's got a lovely, delicate, sweet flavor to it from the coconut. Speaking of which, the rice is served in a little half a coconut shell. My halfway review is that I am really, really happy with my choice. It's a really delicious curry. It's piping hot and it has um, plantain with it, which I don't think I've ever had before, but it really adds a lovely, sweet, um, unusual element to the dish. Very good. The best part of any meal has got to be pudding, and I have gone for shortbread, roasted pineapple, and bourbon 
whipped vanilla cream, which sounds like a taste explosion, and I hope it's going to be a taste explosion in my mouth. It's harder, the shortbread is harder than I had expected. <laughs> It's very nice. Overall, the combination of flavours is good. Perhaps a little bit of a dry texture, but otherwise, it tastes very, very good. My dessert takes me back to my youth. I have got rice pudding, um, but this time I've got it with mango sauce, which my mum never made. Um, and it looks really nice. It's got um, like a chocolate swirl thing on the top and some crushed chocolate as well. So that is interesting. It's an interesting mix of textures between the rice pudding and the mango. Hmm, it's nice. It's good, <laughs> but I will give you a verdict afterwards. Nice and good. Mm. So our review of Captain Jack's restaurant we had a, a really nice meal, the food is very well themed, the restaurant is well themed. I think perhaps a little bit expensive if you were paying out of pocket and the dessert options could have been better. However, uh, it was a nice experience and the staff were really friendly too. Hooray! Yay! Our rating for Captain Jack's. Three, Three two, two, one, one. good. good. The steakhouse is themed like a 1950s Chicago meatpacking warehouse. The restaurant itself is huge and was really busy when we were there. They were turning people away who didn't have reservations. The dining plan menu was 40 euros. We had the carrot soup with cornbread to start. Honestly, the cornbread was probably the best part of the whole meal. For mains, we had pasta with salmon and a creamy parmesan sauce, which was pretty tasteless. Perhaps the waiter was having an off day, but the service here was also really bad. We're laughing and joking here, but the food was poor. We didn't have their signature steak dish though, perhaps that's where they really excel. Hooray, Our rating for the steakhouse. Three, two, one. Terrible. Not good. Not good. because we have been shrunk down to the size of Emile the Rat. We're in Bistro Chez Remy, where the decor is all like super sized. We feel really tiny. It's very fun in here. This is one of the hot dining reservation tickets at Disneyland Paris. We've never eaten here before. I'm very excited to give it a try. We're on half board dining plan, which means that we get the Emile menu, which if you were to pay for it out of pocket, was about 40 euros. We have each gone for the same starter and main course. We're having soup to start with, and then we are having cod. Uh, Sarah's having a chocolate mousse for dessert, and I'm having a tiramisu. And as it's really cold, I'm also having a coffee, but you do get soft drinks included. One drawback of being on the dining plan and having the fixed menus is that sometimes the choices can be a little limiting. Um, there's generally a meat, a fish, and a vegetarian option. We are pescatarian, so we generally go for the fish, unless the vegetarian option sounds really nice. Um, but this has a steak, cod, or a tofu dish. So we solidly went for the cod. And here is our lovely hot soup. It smells delicious. And a nice big basket of bread. Thank you. Hey. How's the soup? Uh, I don't know, actually. Um, I hadn't had a chance to look at the menu, and there was only one vegetarian option, so we just went for the soup, and I don't actually know what flavour it is. So this is going to be a good test. Let me see if I can tell. It's 
like a butternut squash. Sounds good. It's very nice. It could do with being a little bit hotter, but it's very, very tasty. You can't come to Bistro Chez Remy and not have the ratatouille. After all, that is what the movie is named after. So we've got cod ratatouille, fresh potatoes with uh, a white butter sauce. Let's give it a try. It smells delicious. Am, am I the only one who doesn't actually know how to use a fish knife? This is the part of the video where it's just me chewing and nodding. Yeah. Yeah. Going, mm, yeah, that's good. nice. Mm, it's all right. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> okay. Well, first of all, this is a really big bit of fish. Um, the potatoes are lovely and creamy. There's some really nice flavours in this ratatouille. Yeah, Meg just took a close-up of this, and I was like, oh, it probably doesn't look very appetising. But it, trust me, this is really, really nice. The butter sauce is lovely and creamy. It's piping hot, um, and. The fish is just right. It's like a really big, meaty piece of fish. Um, not too fishy. Good fishy, not bad fishy. Like, am I going to regret eating this piece of fish in the morning? This is good fish. Um, I think what would have elevated it just a touch for me is if the skin had been a little bit crisper. But otherwise, it is really, really delicious. Highly recommend this. So I've got for the tiramisu, and it's really nice, actually. The, um, the mousse is really light, and you've got some yummy sponge in there. It's kind of a big portion though, so I'm not sure. Actually, who am I kidding? You, you're going to finish that. Of course I'm going to finish it. But yeah, really good. How's your mousse? Uh, it's very nice. I've only had a few, a few mouthfuls, but it's good. It's a really big portion. Definitely one to come here hungry. Definitely. And uh, my watch is telling me to get up and move. I will not. <laughs> Okay, so our rating for Chez Remy. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Great. Great. The Yacht Club is located in the Newport Bay Hotel and serves cuisine inspired by New England and the Mediterranean. The service here was excellent and our waiter was fantastic. The dining plan menu was $47.99, but we decided to order a la carte desperate for a good meal after our experience at the steakhouse. This made it a pretty pricey dinner but well worth it as the food was top notch. Mac had the Yacht Club muscles to start. I had the goat's cheese tart with tomato and rocket. For mains, I had the grilled sea bream. And Mac had the seafood linguine. For dessert, we both had the signature dish, cleverly shaped like a ship's compass. It was a chocolate mousse covered in hard chocolate with gold detailing, and it was absolutely delicious. Our rating for the Yacht Club. Three, two, two one. one. Terrible. Great. Ah, I'm kidding. Oh. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. <laughs> so great. 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 Next up, we have lunch at Agrabah Cafe in Adventureland. Let's go and check in on our magic carpet. Follow in the footsteps of Aladdin and be immersed in the colourful, bustling centre of Agrabah. The theming in Café Agrabah is wonderful. The lights, colours and details all feel very authentic and so does the food. A fantastic selection of Middle Eastern inspired dishes such as couscous with meats or seafood, falafel, breads, fresh fruit and super tasty desserts. Pricing is simple as it's an all you can eat menu, 36 euros for adults and 19 euros for children aged 3 to 11. Cafe Agrabah is an all you can eat buffet. We've been up for a plate of starters. I think this is a very reserved plate for me. Um, 
but we will go back again, probably for more starters and some main courses. But my first impressions are that this is probably the best selection of vegetarian food that we have seen so far at Disneyland Paris. <laughs> We are tucking right into plate number two. And this, we were just saying, for in-park dining, is surprisingly good. Really, really tasty. Such great flavours. All the sorts of flavours you'd expect from a sort of a, a North African, Middle Easty type cuisine. And it's very, very tasty. I have like a sort of a spicy seafood curry with some Middle Eastern rice, some green beans and some fish. gone to town with my dessert selection but there was such choice I couldn't decide so basically got a bit of everything um, and what's nice is some of it is Christmas themed which is lovely there's like a little yule log with a tiny little jasmine on top which I'm very pumped about a pecan pie um, and then some kind of crumble but it's all kind of cinnamon Christmas spice goodness and uh, I put a great big helping of chocolate cream and to be healthy I also got some grapes. Dessert was fantastic that was a lot of dessert I put on my plate <laughs> so I'm feeling quite full now but I think my favorite was the uh, baklava they're delicious and some dates as well and ooh, also the fresh orange um, which I added to the plate just to make myself feel a little bit healthier. <laughs> uh, but all in all, there's a really great selection and as one uh, dish got low, they immediately replaced it with another as well. So really well um, kept and rotated. Very, very good. Value for money? Excellent value for money. Um, I think that for in-park dining, food choice, volume, quantity of food, this is hands down the best value that we've found. Um, would definitely recommend coming here, especially if you have a group of mixed eaters. Um, kids, it's great for kids, I think it's a good selection there as well. So um, this definitely gets a thumbs up from us. Our rating for Cafe Agrabah. Three, two, one. Easy. Great. great. Yay! So what was your favorite? I think, okay, I have two because Ooh. I am completely indecisive, but I love Cafe Agrabah. I think that the mm. variety of the food for, for us was really spot on. I think because it's that buffet style, the value for money was really, really good. Yep. Uh, you could just keep going up and as many times as you wanted, and they had a lot of very good desserts, which I enjoyed a lot. Um, and my other favourite, I think, in terms of food quality was the Yacht Club. I really, mm. really loved it, and the service there was impeccable. Our waiter was fantastic. So, I, I agree. I think Café Agrabah is bang on the money. It's smack bang in the middle of the park as well, so that's really convenient. Um, fantastic um, choice and selection and really nice theming as well um, and for us um, being pescatarian or if you're vegetarian or vegan um, it's a much more accessible choice for you so definitely a winner um, we, Least I was just gonna say oh. that we did have a great experience at the Yacht Club um, our caveat with that is that we ordered a la carte um, and we can't then compare back to the dining plan menu because no. We went off. We went off piece. We went off piece. <laughs> <laughs> um, least favourite? Ah, do you know what? The steakhouse for us was not good. Um, I suppose we should be fair and say that perhaps it was because we weren't ordering their, um, their special <laughs> steak. <laughs> yeah. um, but the service was really poor. Um, the food was not good at all. Um, overall, we were really disappointed. How about you? Yeah, I would absolutely agree with that. Like like Maka said, the service was really bad um, and the food was just 
bad. <laughs> it was just, just bad. It was just bad. However, you know, there were lots of people in there. It was bulging at the seams with yeah, people. It was really um, busy. Lots of people looked like they were having a great time. So the steak, if you like steak, it's probably good. So um, don't let us uh, sway your choice. Um, but there we go. Warts and all are um, top and our worst um, experiences. Well, there you have it. Our experience of dining at Disneyland Paris on the half board dining plan. Would you book it again? Well, I think there are pros and cons, aren't there? One of the pros is that having those reservations in advance and knowing exactly where you're going to eat and when takes away a lot of the stress and allows you to enjoy your day at the park. Um, another pro is that some of the res um, restaurants are actually pretty cool. Like Chez Remy, that was really uh, cool. Really cool. Really cool. And breakfast in the resort is actually really good value. It's a big selection, there's plenty of food, uh, and so I think you can really get the best of it. And the cons. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay, we do think there are some cons. Um, getting reservations in advance can be really difficult, so you have to make sure that you're checking well in advance and booking up because the most popular restaurants like Chez Remy, mm. the reservations disappear really quickly. There are a couple of restaurants that we really wanted to try in the Hotel New York that we just couldn't get a reservation for, so definitely book up early. If you don't end up getting a reservation and you're on the dining plan, you're kind of losing out basically aren't you yeah, yeah. I, think. I think if you're pescatarian like us or then, vegetarian or, or vegetarian, vegan, vegan mm -hmm. or perhaps you have some other dietary kind of requirements or you're a fussy eater the limited menu choice on that dining plan menu could be really challenging we didn't ask if there were any kind of substitutions, so possibly if we had they may have been a little bit more accommodating there was one occasion that we ordered a la carte um, and they take the sort of financial allocation from the dining plan and take it off of the a la carte um, cost, it still works out pretty expensive. Yeah. So while it is an option, if you if there's nothing on the um, dining plan menu that you really fancy, you can order a la carte, you just gotta be prepared to pay a bit more for it. And it was a lot more. It was. <laughs> but overall, I think if you are able to get a dining plan as part of a deal or a promotion, I think that's pretty good value for money. Would we buy it again if it was full price? Honestly, probably no, not. probably not. I think if we were staying close enough to the parks in an Airbnb that had a kitchen, I would probably prefer to have an evening meal and breakfast in, in, in the accommodation and do it that way and just try and save a bit of money. I don't think it represents paying out of pocket for it particularly good value. No. Having said that, I think we made the most of it. We had some great experiences. We really hope that this video has given you some food for thought <laughs> um, uh, and uh, it might help you in your planning. And if you do pick a dining plan or if you've actually stayed and had the dining plan already, leave us a comment below and let us know how you got on. Yeah, but let us know your favourite restaurant. Absolutely, yeah, we're dying to know. Yeah. Um, and if you try any of the ones that we've recommended and that you haven't tried before, leave us a comment and let us know how you got on. Absolutely. Meanwhile, thanks for watching. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, like the video, turn on bell notifications so you don't miss our next video, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, thanks for, for watching. watching. Bye. Bye. I mean, you say don't be weird, and I automatically just so want to be weird. Cool. <laughs> do, do that again? I mean, mine was perfect. It was. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat>